actually, I'm actually headed to San Francisco in a few hours to meet with some of our brands. So Thank you. But like this is a whole experience where you have like that connection. Yeah. Right, good morning guys. My dad's in the frame. Hi dad. So um, it's currently 7.50 a.m. And we're headed to the convention center in a few minutes. Just want to say how crazy yesterday was. Holy shit. Mom, where are you? Um, I'm trying to regroup and have a very focused day. I really have a smart intention to actually plan out my day. Um, I'm gonna just think about something, bullshit my way through, and finesse my way to the conference. Bye! Okay, so we're here at Fancy Foods and we're gonna go inside and register. I kind of realized I didn't really explain why I was in San Francisco. So one of my companies is called Eat Like. Eat Like is a food box where you can eat like your favorite celebrity. So we partner with influencers and athletes and actors just to create really cool food boxes. And we're in San Francisco for a food convention called Fancy Food Show so we can get our brand partnerships to actually have food inside our boxes. So you're gonna see some footage of us meeting our uh, partnerships for 2020. Guys, it hasn't even been like 15 minutes and we walked through this entire convention and there's still so much food. We keep like running into more sectors. Okay. All right guys, so today I'm here with Colleen. She's the CEO of Zigo. Zigo. So tell us about how you started Zigo and a little bit more about the product and how you use it in your daily lifestyle. So I want to make sure I'm nourishing my body as well as I can. And if I'm nourishing myself well, then I know that my farmers are also doing well because they're not using chemicals that yeah. are going to hurt them and their families. This is Yana. This Hi. is Jade. Nice to meet you, Jade. Don't show off this thing. I'm not YouTuber. Will you please take a picture of me and Jade? Um, that's gonna cost you. <laughs> okay, so we're here at a place called <laughs> Val's in the back. Say hi. I don't think I've properly introduced you to the vlog. This is Val. She's the founder of Spread the Love. And we are actually here at Fancy Food Show together. You guys saw, but Val was killing it. She's been super energetic, um, talking about clean AF and eat like today. We have to eat because we've been around food, but like all our appetite and energy is like drained. I guess I didn't really realize how tired I would be after speaking to 40 brands. Um, so we went back to the convention center, but I was really tired. It is gone. I just ate some food and stressed out for another project. But we're going to interview two more brands. But I lost my wallet twice in a day. It's been very eventful so far. Alright guys, so I'm here with the founder of The Daily Crave, this is Haas. Um, our channel is called The Eat Like, so tell us how you eat like every day. So I wanted to come up with something better, that tasted good, that was better for you, because I'm a huge snacker. I have to snack every single like day. Like volume versus like... As much as I can. Yeah. I mean like... <laughs> We've been at the conference from around 10 a.m. to around 3 p.m. So it was time for us to go home and relax before our next event. This is what happens when you come back from a food conference. We just have so much snacks. snacks, snacks. Alright guys, so we just got back from the convention center. We spent like three hours at the hotel room. I had some work stuff to do. Um, and I'm kind of running in around like six hours of sleep. But we're having some dinner. So we're going to this place called King Key. What? <laughs> no. <laughs> Wait, what's it called? Wait, I don't think we're here. It's not kinky. <laughs> it's called kinkow. So? Not kinky. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, around the corner. It's past kinky. <laughs> it's called kinkow. <laughs> oh, there actually is kinky right there. Kinky. <laughs> As you can tell, uh, my dad and I have humor of like a five-year-old, but we basically found the restaurant. It was past another similar restaurant, um, and we were meeting with Val and another brand owner. Do you like Thai food? Yeah. Yeah. Have you been to um, King Khao? It's right, it's, right, it's right there. It's like around the street. Um, but you should go there. It's good. <laughs> One revision request probably starting Wednesday. However so I had one last meeting this afternoon and then I was going to bed. So this was a wrap up of day one. 
of the fancy food show and i'll see you guys in day two morning guys welcome to a brand new day um it's like 8 a.m and i was trying to get some shots in lombard street but it's kind of unfortunate because it looks like ass like that is it, just, it doesn't look that cute so i just walked up these flat of stairs for nothing but today we're headed back to the conference we're getting more videos but i wanted to get some content for my channel i'm just disappointed with this view My name's Chris Spencer. I'm one of the co-founders of Keto Pint Ice Cream based out of Portland, Oregon. Wait, you're joking. No, I'm from Portland, Oregon too. Wait, that's what I'm wait, talking wait, about. Wait. Hi, my name is Ben. I'm the co-founder of The Good Chocolate. My name is Claire Schlemme and I'm the co-founder and CEO of Renewal Mill. Renewal Mill is a next generation ingredient company that's upcycling byproducts from food manufacturing into premium ingredients and products. Oh shoot, she rehearsed, okay. <laughs> so literally this entire day, I'm pretty sure I had 15 meetings with different brands to learn about their company to see if it's a good fit for Eat Like. But anyways, if you guys would like to see more about these interviews, I will link below my business podcast and you guys can hear the full in-depth interview there. We just finished from the fancy food show. Uh, Leon's really just pissed off right now. So I met with like 20 or 30 brands for Eat Like, which is super exciting. So the past two days, I would say have been a success. All of the business cards are in my bag and we're gonna have to go follow up with them with some meetings. That afternoon, we took the train back to her hotel and I just wanna quickly say thank you to all the brands we met, especially thank you to Val. Val is the founder of Clean AF Movement, which we've been partnering for Eat Like. It's honestly been insane to have such amazing connections. So yeah, just super appreciating, grateful for this business and the growth so far. Uh, guys, look, ah, it's Johnny oh. and Max. <laughs> guys, this is unplanned. We're both wearing tan pants, white shoes This is the uniform. I thought, Yo, if you guys aren't- like, Texas about this? I thought this was like, we were supposed to be like, where? If, straight up right now, if you, Dharma Nationers don't go to the turn right to the mall <laughs> right now and buy a black hoodie and some uh, some tan really pants. Are you the Dharma Nation? <laughs> yeah, seriously, this is like you guys, the... look like you guys look like the little clones. Oh my god! We're, this is we're the attire. Security. This is the Dharma Nation security. Uh, guys, can we uh, can we uh, See, everyone move back? Pardon a me. Bit? Pardon me. VIP uh, coming through. Yeah. <laughs> no one's there. No one's there. <laughs> So Johnny and Max are one of my closest friends and it was so nice to have dinner with them. We got pizza um, and yeah, we catched up about life and business and they were actually giving me tons of advice for Eat Like. Honestly, I think the most crazy thing about this whole business thing is I started a year and a half ago and I remember how alone and isolated I felt. It's crazy to think with a little bit of outreach and courage, you're able to meet some cool people to help you feel less alone. I was able to get some partnerships, meet my close friends, and establish business relationships that will last a long time. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys liked it, make sure you give this video a like for more business vlogs. To learn more about my companies, check out the description box for Eat Like and my other startup PBJ app. I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. Love you all. And you can do this.